Good morning and welcome to PLAS TV. Improving growth rate in pigs is one way to improve profit margins. This is where correct nutrition in growth finisher facilities on a pig farm plays a very important role. Tracy Mayer Wilson from Swine Nutrition Management gives us an in-depth look at this in today's episode of PLAS TV. Lisa Roberts also chatted to Sunay Pretorius from DSM a while back about the role that vitamins play in pig nutrition. But first, let's see what's happening in agricultural news. Welkom bij vandaag zijn nieuws. Die zachte vruchtenbedrijf het van jaar alle 45ste toekenningsgeleentheid aangebied. Van die toekenning sluit een specialist landbouwwerker wat aan Ridwan Isaacs gegaan het en bedrijfsleier wat aan Alexander Kriel toegeken is. Phyllis Burger en Andries Daniels is met die navorsings- en technologie toekenings vereer en ons hoor wat hulle nou hierover te sê het. Um, ons het, soos jy so pas gesê het, die navorsing en technologie toekening gekry. Dit is een van die toekenings van die zachte vruchte bedrijf. En ons het gekry specifiek vir die ontwikkeling van uh, droogdrijf cultivar wat ons bekend gestel het, wat in ons teelprogram ontwikkel is. En dit is die eerste keer wat ons nou een droogdrijf vrygestel het. En hy, of, of haar naam, is dan Sundowner. Soos vroeger genoem was die bedrijf uh, baie lang tyd afhankelijk van Sultana vir die maak van rosinkies, maar Sultana het sy probleme in die dat hy in sommige jare ontvruchtbaar is en nie die selfde tonne maat lever as die vorige jaar nie. En dit is ook sensitief vir reen, so dit baans na reen. Later het daar ander kultivar Merbein Seedless ingekom, maar Merbein het ook maar sy eie probleme. En daar is ook in die laatste paar jaar nieuwe cultivars ingevoerd van Oorsea, Afsea, Mapiet en Sjoga 39 Diamond Biscuit. Selke type cultivars. Maar ons het een erg Zuid-Afrikaanse cultivar nodig gehad. Wat onder Zuid-Afrikaanse toestanden evalueer is en onder, op verskillende onderstokke. So dat ons aan die bedrijf iets kon gee wat vir hulle elke jaar een constante draag kon gee. Maar ook een goeie kwaliteit in ons seinkie jaar na jaar aan hulle kon, kon gee. Volgens Dr. Axel Rothauge van AgriConsult in Namibia het een veldbrand in die noordelike deel van die land 30.000 hectares op weiding vernietig. Die skade beloop ongeveer 30 miljoen rand. Volgens Rothauge zou die weiding genoeg voer vir 6.000 vleisbeeste vir 9 maanden gelever het. Vroe en goeie reenval is nou nodig in hierdie gebied. Dan het die top 5 Trust in samenwerking met die Zuid-Afrikaanse Pinot Noir Vereniging, onlangs die benners van die Mozaïek Top 5 Pinot Noir Wijn toekennings aangekondig. Die benners is Creation Wines, The Art of Pinot Noir 2018, Elgin Witness Pinot Noir 2019, La Viage, The Apogee Pinot Noir 2016, Richard Kershaw Wijne, The Elgin Clonal Selection Pinot Noir 2018 en The Brew Crew, The Pinot Noir vir 2019. Dit was dan vandag sy nies, maar moet nie weg gaan nie net hier na, kyk ons nou ons vierde opwindende varkie reeks en ons gesels met Swine Nutrition Management, ons keier saam met Tracy Meyer Wilson in die varkplaas sy groeihokke Simparika by Zoyetis, your best friend's best friend. Hi, 
my name is Tracy and I'm a nutritionist at Swine Nutrition Management. I'm standing in one of the grower finisher facilities at Bainesville Piggery and this is where the money is made. Here we make sure at Swine that we maximise the genetic potential of these pigs progress has been made that the pigs can grow up to one kilogram a day and we really need to make sure that we feed them correctly to get to this potential. Farms will vary their feeding schedule based on the farm layout and design. Some farms may choose to just feed two diets. Some farms will change diets every two weeks. It really is up to the requirements on the farm. At 70 days of age, the pigs are moved from the nursery into the grower facility. They stay here until they are about 22 to 23 weeks of age. At this point, they are marketed. When they get to the abattoir, one of the parameters that is used to grade them is fat percentage. Fat adds flavor to meat, but we don't want too much. And it is our job as nutritionists to ensure that we supply balanced diets that the carcass grades out with the correct fat protein ratio. We do not use hormones in our feed. The pigs grow from the nutrients given via the raw materials available, such as maize, wheat bran, and soya oil cake. They also receive macro and micro minerals and vitamins. The diet is a balanced and complete diet and fed ad lib. This means the pigs are free to eat when they want. On some farms, they have the ability to separate the sexes. As you can see on this farm, the males are on this line and the females over here. We do this because the males have a potential to deposit more muscle, just like in humans. These animals can be fed differently to really maximize on this uh, potential and make the farmer more money. The climate in South Africa is extreme. We have very hot summers and very cold winters. We take this into account when we formulate our diets making sure that we have summer rations and winter rations. We at Swan follow very strict welfare guidelines. Our job as consultants to the pig farmer is to ensure that the product that they supply to the customer has been raised in a sustainable and ethical manner. We formulate on best cost and not least cost. We take genetics, sex, climate, and the farmer's needs into account when we supply diets for the farm. South Africans have the option of choosing from three main genetic companies. We have Topix Norsefin, PRC, and Danbred. Farms may choose to use pure lines, or on this farm, for example, they will use sows from one line and semen from another. Bainesfield Piggery produces four million kilograms of meat a year. That's enough to feed one million South Africans. This is just one of many pig farms in our country, striving to make quality meat for you. The grower facility that I'm standing on has installed solar panels. These panels supply 100 kilowatts of power, enabling the farm to be off the grid. Goedemorgen, ik is Kristal van Franse Klerk Onafhankelijke Technische Ontleders. Vanochtend wil ons graag kijken naar die soja na baie grafiek. En ons kan duidelijk zien met vandaagse kaars van die 22ste um, september dat hier een moeilijke verschietende ster kaars is. Een verschietende ster komt gewoonlijk aan die einde van een loopie voor en hij te lang pit na boe, wat impliceert dat er meer verkopers als kopers was. Die bevestiging van die negativiteit rondom die verschillende ster zal slecht bevestigd worden in die volgende kaars. Zo so die volgende kaars, wat nou woensdagse kaars moet wees, moet een bierorierende kaars of enige rooi, misschien een traandruppel kaars wees, wat voor ons kan bewijzen dat die verkopers een winst nemen en dat ons dalk eerst het terugtrek kan zien. 
Die bevestiging van negativiteit zal bevestigd worden onder 8001. En eerst als we die sojaprijs via boe 8199 inskuif, kan ons aannemen dat die momentum naar boe kan voortdieren. Ons kan ook zien dat die stochastische indicator duidelijk oorgekoop is, wat betekent dat die waarschijnlijkheid voor een terugtrek groter is. Die 10 uh, daal bewegende gemiddeld wat daar die rooi lijn is, is ook steeds een sterk steen wat wacht bij 7850. En ons kan aannemen dat die korttermijn sentiment tegen oor soja na negatief zal veranderen wanneer 7850 in een weerstand verander. Voor meer inlichting raak in die dienst wat ons lever, besoek gerus ons webteiste bij www.fransdeklerk.com. Tot ziens! Nutrifeeds, die formule vir sukses. Without vitamins, pigs cannot grow as the industry wants them to grow. And growth means profitability on a farm. And uh, this morning's discussion is about vitamins and the pig industry. And I'd like to welcome Sunay Pretorius from DSM. Sunay, why are vitamins important for swine? So vitamins, as the name suggests, are vital for life. And not only for pigs, but for all animals and humans. So vitamins are essential organic compounds required in small amounts by the animal and involved in various metabolic and physiological processes in the body. How do we classify vitamins? Yeah, good question. So there are 13 essential vitamins, either classified as fat-soluble vitamins, which is vitamin A, D, E, and K, which can be stored in the body. And then you get your water-soluble vitamins, which is your B-complex vitamins and vitamin C, which cannot be stored in the body and should be taken in continuously. Um, It's usually also on these specific vitamins where the first deficiency signs will be observed on should the animal not receive sufficient amount of vitamins. So how do animals, and we're talking about pigs now, obtain sufficient levels of vitamins? That's also a good question. So animals can't produce sufficient amount of vitamins to meet their physiological demands. So they need to obtain these vitamins from their diets. Mm -hmm. And this is either through natural feedstuffs or additional vitamin supplementation. So the natural vitamin content of feedstuffs are highly variable um, and are influenced by various factors like processing and storage conditions. Um, Some feedstuffs also do not contain enough vitamins or any. Um, Others do contain enough vitamins, but they're not in a bioavailable form to the animal. So therefore additional vitamin supplementation is quite important Um, And this is specifically through the means of vitamin and mineral premixes that are added through the feed. What influences the vitamin requirements of swine? Yeah, so the vitamin requirements of swine, especially in these modern intensive production systems, are influenced by various factors. And these factors include the life stage of the animal, environmental conditions like housing, temperature, humidity, feed quality, the health status of the animal, performance objectives and genetics. So the genetic improvement in swine has led to animals with higher growth and feed efficiency. So these animals produce the same amount of meat or more meat with less feed. So we need to adjust their vitamin levels accordingly. So optimum vitamin nutrition for swine is where where you supplement high quality vitamins in the right ratios for the life stage and growing conditions for the animal for optimum health, performance and well-being. So, Sunay, are there any important vitamins specifically related to swine performance? So, as I've mentioned, all vitamins play an important role in swine performance. But interesting swine research is available um, on a vitamin D3 metabolite called 25-hydroxy-D3, which can be supplemented through the feed in this specific form. So, this is a more efficient source of vitamin D3, optimizing the calcium and phosphorus metabolism in the body for improved bone health, bone strength, immunity, and added support to this modern prolific sow and her progeny. So then lastly on vitamin nutrition in general, it's important to always discuss your vitamin supplementation levels with a qualified animal nutritionist. And important to remember that vitamins are micronutrients with macro importance and that they form the foundation of balanced animal nutrition. 
Well, there we have it. Vitamins are not only important for us as humans, but also for swine. And we'd like to thank Sunei Pretorius from DSM. Stand in the bank. Full eight for and two. Netafin. Grow more with less. Like dit nie soos die perfecte prankie nie. Dit kan perfect in die buitenkant lyk, maar weet jy recht af wat in die binnenkant hang gaan? Sukkel die diere ween spierstuifheid en laar reproduksie vlakke, wat leid tot een swak produksie vir u. Hulle kan in een selenium tekort leid. Dis een algemene probleem wat baie SA plase aantref. Selowin, behandel en voorkom een selenium tekort met die eenmalige behandeling. Voorsien genoeg salme selenium vir tot een jaar in beeste en een jaar en een half in skape om immuniteit voor planting en produksie te help. Praat vandag met jou fjaards oor Selowin. Moe nie vrijdags episode van Plaas TV misloop nie, wanneer Michael Esmeralda van Netafim op die rol van profielgate in een suksesvolle besproeiingsstelsel focus.